Beef Research School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by the Beef Cattle Research Council. Um, over the course of the winter, nutrient requirements for cattle change, um, primarily for two reasons. First of all, because they're moving from animals that are dry and in the early months of pregnancy to animals um, that are supporting a, a growing calf, and then finally to an animal that's calving and trying to produce milk for that calf. So as they move from mid um, gestation or mid pregnancy to late pregnancy and then into um, as a lactating a female, a lactating cow, the nutrient requirements of those animals increase. So they may start, you know, in the early fall, somewhere between 50 and 55 percent energy, um, moving up to um, values as high as maybe 63 or 65 percent energy as that cow is trying to support a, la a suckling calf. Uh, protein requirements also increase as energy requirements do and they probably move from 7 or 9 percent protein all the way up to 12 percent protein in that lactating cow. And so therefore it's important to ensure um, that the nutrient requirements of animals are met to meet their changing physiological status, but also um, it's important to keep in mind that the temperature is getting dramatically colder in the Western Canadian production environment as we move from November um, into January and February, which can often be very cold months. And so we have to ensure that the maintenance requirements of those animals are met um, by increasing the quality of the feed provided. So because of these changing nutrient requirements of the animals, it's really important to ensure that if the animals are going to be on uh, an extended or wintering scenario of some sort, either bale grazing or swath grazing, that their nutrient requirements are met for the duration of the time that they're in these um, extended over wintering um, scenarios. So it's important to feed test uh, early in the year, early in the fall, um, and determine the quality of feed and particularly in swath grazing scenarios where the feed is exposed that feed quality can change over the course of the grazing season and if animals are going to be in the gra bale grazing scenario in spring it's really important to ensure that you bale test again maybe in March um, or feed test again sorry in March just to ensure that forage quality is still meeting animal requirements. If not um, it's important to either provide supplemental feed or to use combinations of bales in a bale grazing scenario. For example, it may be necessary to provide, you know, on a daily basis, three bales of a high quality feed and one bale of a lower quality feed. When you're doing that, it's important to consider animal access. So it may be better to provide nine bales of high quality feed and three bales of low quality feed over a three day period to ensure that all animals have access to the high quality feed first um, as a consequence of competition between animals and that some animals, um, the less aggressive animals possibly aren't being compromised in terms of body condition score and ideally we like to keep that body condition score between a two and a half and a three throughout the grazing season. Um, so just as you're paying attention to the requirements of the animal in terms of the forage or any supplemental feed that you may need to provide, it's also really important to ensure that animals have adequate, um, adequate water. Animals that are compromised or cannot drink as much as they need will absolutely reduce um, uh, intake. So if they're compromised in terms of water availability, feed intake will also decrease. Animals that are in uh, either bale grazing or swath grazing scenarios can use snow as a water source, but it's very important that that snow is soft and readily accessible to the animals. If either there isn't an adequate amount of snow or if that snow becomes very trampled or packed, it will not be adequate and it's very important to ensure that cattle have an alternative water source. In many parts of Western Canada, uh, we have had years where we don't have adequate snowfall well into the fall and if a supplemental source of water isn't provided, we can't use those bale grazing or those swath grazing situations.